Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well and keeping in good health. Today I'm going to share another wrap recipe with you. It's quite easy and simple. It's going to be southern fried chicken tender wraps. So for that you'll need two chicken breasts that I've cut like lengthways. And here I've got one cup of milk and I've added one tablespoon of lemon juice in it and I set it aside for about an hour. And as you see, we made buttermilk at home. There you go. And to this, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of salt. So the chicken has, gets a bit of seasoning. So that goes in there. Give it a mix. And I'm going to add all this chicken to this now. Oops. I'm going to let this marinate for about half an hour. If you have more time, you can uh, marinate for over an hour. And I'm just going to cover this and just leave it on the side. And now we're going to make the flour coating for this chicken. For the coating, you'll just need some plain flour. I've got a bowl here with the lid. So I'm just going to add the flour into this. There's about three cups of flour here. Now I'm going to make it spicy, so I'm going to add the spices in. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of black pepper. Also, I'm going to add some mixed herbs or oregano. You're going to add about half a teaspoon of that. Give that a good mix. We're going to coat the chicken in this and I'll show you how we do that. But what I'm going to do is use a pair of tongs. You're just going to put all the chicken in there. Just try to drain some of the liquid off. I'm going to do all this and then I'll show you what I do next. Guys, make sure you don't throw this away. We're going to reuse it again. I'm going to put the lid on. Make sure it's tightly on. You could use a um, freezer bag as well. So I'm just going to give it a good shake. I'm going to cover all the chicken with the flour. So just keep on doing that for a couple of minutes. It's a good form of exercise. Let's see. As you can see, all the chicken is nicely covered. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take all this chicken out again. As you can see, it's so nicely done. And it's taken half of the time how you would do just like dipping it one at a time. This saves so much time. So that's nicely done. I'm gonna fish all these out and then I'll show you what we do next. We're gonna double coat this. So I'm gonna put all the chicken back into the buttermilk. That's gonna give a nice double coating to the chicken. So I'm going to put all these in, then I'll show you what we're going to do next to this. What I'm going to do now is going to put a few at a time in the flour. So I'm just not going to put all of them together. Just Probably put about four to five at a time. There you go. And we're going to put the lid back on and we're going to do the exactly what we've done before. We'll get a plate. Let me start taking this out. Guys, look how nice it looks now. It looks like nice and crumbly chicken coating. That's one good thing about double coating it. You get that effect to the chicken. So I'm just gonna fish all them out. I'm gonna do this to all of the chicken, then we'll show show you how it is fried. I forgot to mention why we dip this in buttermilk, because it makes it really nice and tender, the chicken. 
So that's why we made the buttermilk for this recipe. What I'm gonna do now is take all this chicken out and I'm gonna leave this for about 10 to 15 minutes until I fry it because I want the butter to stick to it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes. I've heated some oil in a pan on a high heat and then I'll put it on a medium and I've added the strips in there. I've just put about five in there. You don't want to overcrowd it because the oil will become cold. So I'm going to cook these now until they're nice and golden brown. I'm not going to touch them yet until a couple of minutes. And once it's golden brown at the bottom, then I'll turn them over. Then I'll show you how it looks. You see about a couple of minutes from that side. And I'll just uh, turn it. As you can see, it's gone nice and golden brown. Turn them over. So I'm going to cook this about a couple of minutes either side and then turn them over until they're nice and golden brown all the way around. Guys, as you can see, the chicken is nice and crispy now. Just another couple of minutes and it'll completely be done. Then we're going to take these out and put them on some kitchen towel. They are completely done now. I'm going to take these out. Doesn't that look so tempting? They are so nice and crispy. I'm going to make the rest of these and then we'll put them in the wraps and I'll show you how it looks. Guys, I've just taken some foil and I've warmed up a tortilla wrap. I made a sauce, that's already on my channel. I'll give you the recipe and I'll leave it in the link. And there's some salad here. You can add whatever salad you like. I've just got some cucumber, lettuce and red onions. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make the wrap. So I'm just gonna put the chicken in the middle. And three pieces will be enough. Just gonna add the salad on top. Then I'm going to add the sauce. If you don't want to add this sauce, you can use any sauce that you would like. What I'm going to do now is with this, I'm going to wrap it. Just the bottom sides, I'm just going to wrap them. There you go guys, I've made the wraps now. Don't they look tempting? I've some, put some of the chicken in there. I'll just cook, break one and you can have a look. See how nice and juicy that is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and share. And please go onto my Instagram as well and have a look. Bye.